Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Social Media Games. My name is Charles Mordio, and we jump into our YouTube Championship. Let's cross over now to Michael. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mike, this is my Mike, and this is the Social Media Ashes. And today's playing field, YouTube. I think it's now time that I threw to my man upstairs, the man who spent all night biting my finger, Mr. Charlie. How you doing today, mate? Very good, Michael. This will be an interesting competition simply because so many people discount the fact that YouTube is its own community. So I'll send you this email and just... And we're over to Nick now, making a video message to a potential client, I believe. Now, interestingly, he's holding this in portrait mode. This isn't really the way to make videos. Yes, his phone should be horizontal. Mustn't be using YouTube capture, wasting precious time not uploading it now. Bad strategy, out of focus. I think this one's going to hurt him come later on. Back to you in the studio, Charles. So over to Adam now with his first play of the day. It looks like he's playing a great looking video and he has, he's liked the video. That's a good start, of course. They're going to get engagement there and he's shared the video. That's what's got him the extra points. He's not just liked, he's shared. That's going to promote conversation in his community yes lovely stuff how you doing up there Charles very good thank you Michael and uh, Adam looks pretty happy with that play over back to Nick let's see how his play is coming along it's uh, he's on his YouTube channel this is a personal YouTube channel looks like but it's organized very nicely I think the judges should award a point there he's really uh, combined all that relevant and related content into a playlist this is gonna make it nice and easy for those looking for content to actually get a sense of what it is that Nick offers nice play very nice now Adam he is <laughs> he's no amateur he's uh, making a video message looking like he's using the app let's get Michael to ask him a couple of questions that's great strategy there horizontal phone looks like you're using YouTube capture unlike Nick Kelly tell us why were you using YouTube capture it's just so simple to use never have to type an email again why, why would you yeah that's great stuff and really good use of natural light as well Adam I think you're the front runner for the competition what do you reckon Charles well, he's certainly played uh, a good game so far. Uh, the judges have obviously awarded him a nice few points here. Um, it'll be interesting to see how Nick plays into this now. Back on to Nick, and, and he's obviously clearly enjoying a video. I, I'd be interested to see uh, his reply, but yeah, he just walked away. He's put his phone down. He didn't even interact in that video. I can't even comprehend what just happened. I don't even know what to say, so I'll say nothing. Back to you, Charles. What else can you say, Michael? Back to Adam. Adam now, he's uh, he's got his game face on. He looks like he's taking in a lot of information. He's watching a video. This is how you should comment. Nick Kelly has a little bit to learn here. He's leaving a comment. This actually might promote a little bit of interaction with not just the user, the person who created that video, but other uh, users on Google as well. Nick Kelly, has gone back to his channel. He's adding in some art. This is good. This is a good way to actually promote your branding. People know where they are when they go to your YouTube channel. And Adam is doing the same on a uh, YouTube business channel and looks like the judges have awarded both. Well done. Adam now, he's uh, following, I think taking a leaf out of Nick's book. He's put a playlist together. Nice move. It's placed all that relevant content into one place. Easy to find for his viewers. Nick commenting on a video it looks like, but failed with the share. I think they, yep, they're taking a point from him. Uh, that was a great, great opportunity to share onto his other social networks. Back over to Adam now. Adam has an interesting approach with uh, YouTube. Not only does he use uh, original content, he, but he also posts video responses as well. A great tactic. And would you look at that, he's liking and commenting on the video. I tell you what, he's performing like an absolute champion. Somebody wants that medal, and I think it's Adam Bannister. I think you're right, Michael. Liking and commenting, a great way to show up in other people's feeds, but also to actually share value and start a conversation. Nick now, he's joining that same conversation. Looks like Adam and Nick have the same goal. This is fantastic. Now, a point here that Adam could really capitalize on with a business YouTube channel is the fact that he should have a variety of content. In fact, a quick scan through, and yes, we've got that. The judges have seen that also. They've given him the point. There's a nice amount of content, a variety of content for someone on that YouTube channel. 
So it looks like the judges are tossing up and the winner is Adam, the man Bannister. Well played uh, uh, competition, of course. Adam really making all the right moves there, really promoting uh, some good YouTube engagement, not just focusing on the video content itself. That's a good play. Nick Kelly, uh, you know, just cannot believe that result, but there are the scores, there's the scoreboard. Remember, it's not just about watching a video. If you really watch some content that you like, like it and share it to really promote someone else's value. They in turn will reciprocate, I promise you that. He has used the Capture app to make some simple, quick, easy videos. The YouTube Capture app on the iPhone has done it all for him. He's liked, commented, he's got his channel art, he's got consistent branding, and you know what? Overall, he had the better channel.